When you experience awareness in a conversation, you make empowered choices and co-create better results in communication. Are you following the collective's model of relationships or are you open to explore a brand new way of seeing life or perceiving relationships in general? My name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element. Today's episode is for your awareness only. Awareness of the dynamics that happen between two people in either a divine feminine centered relationship or divine masculine one. We will be working on your spiritual body, which is represented by the fire element. Please see our previous episodes on this series of Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Energies so you are acquainted with our new concept on the relationship dynamic. For the purpose of this video and its content integration, we will be using John as our main character of the story and examples of his daily life situations in terms of Divine Feminine dynamics. Remember to like, subscribe and notify, so we can all go through this time together. Let's begin. So like I said, we have been following John's journey and this time John wants to work consciously on his divine feminine side, his wounds uh, that come up in a relationship on a daily basis. So for that, as we have seen in the other episodes in this series, John was looking for a relationship with a partner that supports his divine feminine side with a more divine masculine energy. And he found Linda. So now we have Linda, which is going to be a more divine masculine centered energy as a partner of John, who's now at the more divine feminine energy. And what does that mean? I'll start first by giving you the qualities that a Divine Masculine has that John is looking for in Linda. But before I do that, I just remind you, for those who have seen the episodes before, that John is a builder. He has been working as a full-time builder um, all his life and he established a life for himself. He made that his career. But John has a dream of becoming a landscaper. And now he actually looks for a partner that supports him in following his dream. So he needs to acquire skills, but this is a dream, okay, for, for, for John. Now, his intention is to stop working full-time and move into working part-time. And for that, he needs to have someone who is more divine masculine energy center. And what does that mean? Now, Linda is someone who is very proactive. She's a goal getter. She's also a very focused mind. She is more rational than emotional. That's her forte. She's also like a very good provider because she has a very good job so she can actually cover the income that it's gonna um, that John's gonna not gonna be able to provide by going part time, and um, many other um, divine masculine qualities that you can research yourself if you find because there's quite a lot. But for the purpose of this episode, we're gonna just mention a few so we can show you how in da uh, John's daily life he works the dynamic of this divine feminine centered relationship because John is very aware and he's very conscious and that's what we would like you to be today a little bit more aware of your relationships and how you can work them so they they balance their dynamics because sometimes we are wounded yeah I'm sure you are wounded as well and we are focusing on the wounds of John okay we're not going to focus on Linda because obviously there's there's a two-way street but in this case, this is what John is looking for. Someone who can give him at least some of these qualities whilst he changes his career, he goes after his dream. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a few scenarios. So John, uh, first, the first challenge that they have in this relationship is him moving from a full-time job to a part-time job. So that means income-wise, there's gonna be less income in. So. And obviously, he's going to have more time in his hands, technically, 
of the time increases and the income decreases in general. But he has a, has a divine masculine energy that comes in to contribute in the relationship. Linda can actually, uh, she's, a, she's good provider because she has a good job and she has good salary, so she can compensate for that. And like I said, I forgot to mention, John is gonna go for this part-time job. Uh, for the moment, he's working part-time, but he's, course for, he's doing a course, he's gonna study for three months to start with. But it could be a long-term uh, a long-term dynamic between them. So Linda, like I said, has a good job so she can provide, so she can, in this case, support for the decrease in financial income. And also, she is very um, proactive. So if they need to generate extra income or find solutions, that's another thing. Um, Linda is very solution-based, she's very focused on that. She can, you know, she's very proactive, so John can trust that she can handle herself and the relationship and also whatever they need um, quite well. Uh, so that's one, one of the obstacles that could happen in your daily basis. Now, due to John becoming a part-time job to pursue his career, he's gonna, his plan is also to spend more time in the community. And how is he wants to spend more time in the community? He needs to practice. He needs to practice his skill as he learns to be a landscaper. He wants to practice and he's, he wants to offer um, his services to the community. The community where he lives and, uh, you know, probably volunteering to uh, do people's garden or to get that kind of experience and see or even work with someone who's already a landscaper, um, you know, with the, the exchange for experience for a certain amount of time. So that means his time that he has here that has increased is now going to be spent elsewhere is going to be spent in the community uh, so some of the hours he will be sharing with the community so that means he has less time for Linda although technically he has more time as being part-time so in that case uh, Linda doesn't mind because she supports him by being very rational about it she's very understanding she knows where he's coming from she knows that he needs that time he needs to acquire the skills he needs to acquire the experience she's very good at that because obviously she's a goal getter as well, so she knows, uh, you know, the, the the need that he has to to achieve that goal. So she fully supports that, and in the meantime, she will find solutions for herself uh, with the time that she used to have with him, and now she doesn't, just to allow him to expand. So that's one of the things that John is looking for in this relationship, um, having time, you know, with his community. Also. John has children and Linda has children too. So they live in the house with him. Let's say if they live together, it's just an example. So um, one of the things that he would like from Linda, because obviously although he has time, he also has to study. He also has to, you know, um, this, this situation might stress him out. So when he comes home at night, if he needs time for himself or time to study, and normally um, people who have children and have a tendency when they get home uh, if the children now are anxiously awaiting for the parent to come home normally you know they get all excited and you know they run and they jump on, on top of you and and sometimes you know you just need that little bit of chill on time first before you engage with so much energy and so much enthusiasm um, Linda in that sense she could be very focused mind in organizing uh, a way that um, every day when uh, John gets home, he has a little bit of time to just regroup himself and then allow the children to enjoy his company so he's in a better mood and more grounded and, and more energetically available to enjoy the moment he has with the children. So that's scenarios um, of how dynamics can change and how the qualities of your partner are supporting you depending on which side of the relationship energetically you are working. This, like I said, is just for your awareness, so I'm going to leave it at this. Please feel free to um, do your own research in terms of qualities. Uh, spend some time with yourself and find out where you are in your relationship, who are you being, what are your wounds, and how they can be met as a supportive, uh, your partner can meet them, your, your needs as a supportive partner. Okay? So um, that's what I will, I will stop here.
for today. And remember to give us your feedback if you find that we are the right community and this content resonates with you. Leave a note in the comments box if you have any conscious ideas, requests or suggestions. We would love to hear from you. For more content, visit our website and follow us at any of our social media platforms. See you in the Vortex. Goodbye.